Well, going back to uh, 1980, which was when I left London Weekend Television after 20 years of working with the EMI 2000s and other cameras, we left because Ikigami had bought out this camera, which is called an HL79A, and the HL, which still amuses me today, stands for Handy Looky, very Japanese. And, um, uh, and the camera was, we, we bought a Sony 330 at the same time, uh, and the reason we bought both was that the BBC had chosen the Ikigami over the Sony for its colorimetry. So if you wanted to work for the BBC, you had to have an Ikigami, and if you worked for anyone else, you had a Sony. So we had both, and the company was called Cita Video, and it was based in Poland Street, and after a year of using both the cameras, they both performed absolutely brilliantly. But the best story was on the day we got them, both we got them on the same day, we were doing a telethon for ITV and we were booked to do four sites that evening with the two cameras. So we had two crews out doing the sites. And in those days, the IBA used to mark the quality of the video and the audio on the shows. And those four sites won the night. And the next day there was an investigation by the IBA as to why they, these four sites were so much better than all the others, which were traditional cameras. And, and it was because they were the new cameras with the two-thirds tubes and the registration was almost perfect out the box. And, and you know, the other cameras used to take an hour to line up. You lined these up once a year if you had to. And that was a big difference, you know, and it made them very flexible. And these would be recorded on a BVU machine that you slung over your shoulder, which was pretty flexible. And they very quickly became the news gatherers prime camera uh, and we did lots of work for the Beeb and lots for ITV and lots for America as well. The EMI 2001 camera weighed 200 weight and took four people to lift it. So to give you some idea this is probably 20 pounds, I can't remember now but it's light in comparison. The 2001 was a studio camera and we'll have pictures of that I'm sure uh, and it was a big heavy camera and it weighed 200 weight and took four people to lift it but it was then on a studio pedestal which was another 200 weight so it was it was a pretty heavy beast um, and it was used in the studios on a smooth floor because you could wheel it around there so it was quite good and it was used on outside broadcasts and contrary to what people thought that on outside broadcasts small cameras would be a benefit the fact is you needed weight because of the wind and if you were on the top of a camera tower the f these cameras were too light and so we tended to put them on heavy pedestals to stop them being blown around but they had other benefits which is you could put them on your shoulder and you could do drama you could do uh, sports interviews news whatever and so that's what they did was they took over the sort of humdrum everyday work that wasn't in the studio so basically, in, in the EMI 2001, the cameras, the tubes themselves were three quarters of an inch. In here, they're two thirds of an inch. So that made everything smaller straight away because there's three tubes. So they, they were just minimizing everything all the time. And the smaller tubes made them better to register, which is making the three tubes match. And, um, and they were more stable and they were cheaper. So all of those things were the factors. Japanese wanting everything to be miniaturized and the market wanting smaller equipment. All in the early 80s, it all happened at once really. Um, and, and it was also, because of the price, this was $51,000 at the time, which in today's money would be 25 grand, and an EMI 2001 was 250 grand. So there's the difference. Well, in the main, both in America and here, they tended to be the magazine programs where you did a bit more of an in-depth story, where you had more locations and those people couldn't come to the studio, so you went to them. And the other thing they enabled was corporate television, without a doubt, because suddenly you only needed a two-man crew, not a five-man crew, things like that. And you could go anywhere and put them on the aeroplane in the overhead bin, 